Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths video on plans and elevations. Now we've got this 3D shape here and we usually with these kind of questions denote uh, what the front of the shape is. So where are we standing if we're looking at the front of this 3D solid? Now we need to draw the plan, we'll see what that is in a second, the front elevation and the side elevation of this solid. Now, the front elevation is the view from the front. Now, in DT, you might have seen two different ways of drawing things. You've got kind of parallel projection and perspective projection. Now, this is just a simple case of parallel projection, imagining that you're quite far away from the shape, so you don't have to worry about the distortion of space and such. So, if we draw the front elevation, what will we see? Can you see that we see this kind of trapezium shape? So let's kind of copy what we see. We can see on the left that we've got um, three units up. On the right of the shape, it only goes two up. And we can see it's five across like this. And these are unit squares, by the way. And then let's just join up the top. So that's like that. We would usually use a ruler. And there we go, that's the front elevation. That's what you would see from the front of the shape. What about the side elevation? So if it's the front, the side will be from kind of 90 degrees to that. So it could be this side or this side. And you see slightly different things, but often the question they'll indicate what side they're talking about, whether it's this side or this side. So what will we actually see? Well, when we're looking from this point here, we would see this rectangle here, and this sloped kind of face here, we'd also see another rectangle on top of that. So let's worry about the rectangle at the bottom first. That's four wide and two high. So let's draw that. So four wide and two high. And then there's sort of a break in the surface there. So we've got this break here as it changes from one face to another. And then what is this rectangle above going to be? Well, we just use the height, the vertical height of it. It's still going to be width 4, like we have here. But the vertical height we see is only 1, because at 3 minus 2 is 1. So you'd only see another 1 centimetre above that 2 centimetres. So we do 1 above. And that doesn't look very tall, but that's because it isn't very tall. It's because it's so slight. And then finally, we've got the plan. So the plan is just the view from the top of the shape. And that's probably the simplest one. If you're viewing from the top, it's going to be four wide and five across like that. So we just need to draw five across. And then it's four wide like that. And it doesn't matter what rotation it is. So I could rotate it like this, and it would still be the same plan. So we get that. Um, and there's no ridges or anything like that from the top, no break in that surface there. So that's what we'd see from the top. You might wonder, therefore, is the length of that line 5? Does that, if that's 5 there, does that have to be 5 there? And the answer is no. We could actually work out that length there using Pythagoras, but if that length's 5, that's going to be slightly longer than 5. But remember, we're, we're considering the view from the top, not the view from this particular angle here. We're considering the view from the top, so be careful about that.